I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today I am discussing about the control engineering. In the control engineering, I am discussing about the border diagram. This is the open loop transfer function. This is g of s into h of s, 10 into s plus 10, divided by s into s plus 2 into s plus 5. Here we have to find out the gain margin, phase margin, and the stability. Green crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency. This is the basic diagram of the body plot. This we call as a magnitude. This is the phase. This is 20 decibel it is moving out. 20 decibel positive, 20 decibel negative. This is a zero line. How the this line going to cut? We have as it cuts to the cut to the zero line, this point we call as a grain gain cause for frequency. Next, and here 180 we are considered as a uh, as a zero line here. 180. It is a procedure of the border diagram. And this moves in a 30-30-30. 30-30-30 it moves here. It moves 20-20, it moves 30-30. And this line crosses over this point. We call it as a phase cross over frequency. Whatever the line it crosses here, if you draw a line, this part we call it as a phase margin. From this point, if you draw it, where it cutters, where it cuts, this part we call it as a phase margin. Now, from the phase, whatever the part cuts here at the bottom, draw a vertical line. This part we call as a gain margin. Okay, this is the basic diagram for the body diagram. This is the basic procedure of the body diagram. Based on this procedure, I'm going to solve the problem now. It is very nice and very easy method I'm trying to do for the body diagram. Okay, this is the procedure I will going to follow. Now, first step, first step, step one, G of S, H of S is equal to, this is the problem, I have to convert into fraction value. I will take 10 as a common. 10 into 10, this become S divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 2 and 5, I will consider common in, the, in this variable, right? 2, 5 divided by 2 plus 1, 5. Yes divided by 5 plus 1 and this can be written in this way ten into ten it can be written as one plus zero point one yes one divided by ten is nothing but one zero point one yes I have written I have sent the one here I have I have written yes by ten in this way divided by yes two plus five it is ten 1 plus 1 by 2 can be written as 0 0.5 yes and 1 plus 1 by 5 can be written as 0 0.2 yes yes this 10 this 10 cancels out cancel out now step 2 step 2 replace replace yes by g omega imagine part right here G, G omega, H, G omega, G omega is equal to 10, 1 plus 0 0.1 G omega divided by G omega, 1 plus 0 0.5 G omega, 1 plus 0 0.2 G omega. G omega. Now step 3. These are the common step you have to follow other problems too. Find the you can con control function or coronal frequency. Both are same here. Control function or coronal frequency you can write. Now we consider the factors here. Factor coronal frequency. CF coronal frequency or control function. Now for for 10. First I will consider this a constant 10. And then I will refer the procedure. For 10, if there is a constant here, k term, then the corner frequency, this is nothing but CF, is nothing but nil. As per this procedure, right nil. Next, JW. This is at the bottom. It is written in the upward. 10 is to 1 is to J raised to 1 here. J omega raised to 1. Okay, then what? 
if it is j raised to 1 then what we have to do now if we substitute s is equal to j omega plus or minus n then the coronal frequency is nothing but nil this is also nil if s is equal to j omega in place of s i have substituted the j omega the coronal frequency is nothing but nil next i will go for finding this one 1 plus 0 0.1 j omega because it's the upward there is no raise to 1 here it is already an upward position then it is not it is written as now it is similar to here 1 plus st raise to plus or minus n now the corner frequency written is what in this way wct is equal to 1 by t now 1 by t is nothing but what this part we call as a t here t that is 1 divided by 0 0.1 is nothing but 10 radian per second Next, this one I will go 1 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 j omega raised to 1 because it is bottom, it goes upward. Now, the here this is the same procedure w tc or omega tc t is nothing in place of t, you are to write 0 0.5 is nothing but 2 radian per second. 2 radian per second. Next, similarly here. 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega raised to 1 w t c or omega t c 1 by t is nothing but 1 divided by 0 0.2 is nothing but 5 radian per second this is the best way to solve the problem by seeing this procedure okay if there is a square term then you have to multiply that's it here in the case of magnitude and the phase phase angle and the slope you have to multiply Okay, now we are going for the table now. Step 4, we are following the table. Step 4, table. Arrange, arrange CF in increasing order. In increasing order. Increasing order. First I will write factor. First I will write factors factor this is a procedure next cf radian per second next slope db or decade net net force net force db or decade next magnitude magnitude db face angle face angle okay now factors arrange the cf well in increasing order increasing order you have to write it now first i will consider 10 for 10 cf will be nil writing nil now for slope now for slope this is a procedure important for k, isn't that for constant? The slope will be zero. Slope is zero. Now add this one. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus anything? Nothing value is there. No, no, no value here. Therefore, you have to write zero as it is here in the case of net force dB here. Okay. Now in case of magnitude, what we have to write? In the case of magnitude, as per the procedure, you have to write 10, 20 log, 20 log, 10. 20 log 10. 10. 10 is to 10, you are right. Now, what is face angle? Face angle, if 0 is there, the face angle will be 0. If it is 180, you are to write negative. Okay. For the face angle 0, you are to write 0 if it is positive. Now it is 0 now. Now it is 0 as per the procedure. Next is j omega raised to 1. Nil. The coral frequency is nil. It is already nil here. It is nil. Now what is slope for this one? 20. Whether it is a minus 20 or plus 20, it is minus 20. Why we have taken minus 20? Because it lies here, bottom. If it is above JW, then I have to take as a positive 20 here. 
JW is nothing but downward. Therefore, I have to consider minus. If it is upward, you have to consider positive 20. 20. I have considered 20. If it is a square, then you have to 2 into 20. You have to be cube. 3 into 20, you have to do it here. Now, there is no square and cube here. Therefore, minus 20. That's it. Here. What is net? 0 plus 0 plus minus 20. It is minus 20. Minus 20. For this one, what I have to write? I have to write this value minus 20 log 10 is to omega this value present minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 here yes, see it if it is a square 2 into 20 here you have to write minus 40 log 10 is to omega okay you have to follow this procedure next face angle for face angle it should be nil it is already nil here face angle no, no, for face angle, sorry, for face angle, you have to write this is the face angle for uh, j omega. You have to write 90 here. 90. Whether we have to take positive 90 or negative 90 because it lies in the denominator here at the bottom. Therefore, we have to consider negative. If with, just assume it, if it is above, then we have to take positive 90. j omega raised to 1 is nothing but minus 90 it is written here if it's a square term you have to multiply and next next is 2 then 5 and 10 here because we are writing in increasing order 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega raised to 1 cf value will be 10 here slope for this one go for this procedure slope is nothing but 20 here whether it is a positive 20 or negative 20 because it lies negative at the bottom therefore you have to take minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 it will be minus 40 and you have to write minus 40 log 10 is to sorry you have to write 20 20 log 10 is to I think I have made a mistake here. I have to follow this one for face. No magnitude. Where is the magnitude? Ah, magnitude. This is the procedure. 20 log, 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 omega whole square. You are right. This is the procedure. 1 plus CST plus or minus n 20 log root 1 plus omega t whole square. I have written in the same way same way what is the face angle for this one face angle the formula will be minus tan inverse omega t omega t is nothing but 0 0.5 omega divided by 1 this is nothing but omega t divided by 1 is divided by 1 if it is 3 you have to write 0 0.3 omega divided by 1 you have to write okay that's the procedure here you have to follow That's the procedure you have to follow it 0 0.5 omega divided by 1 next is nothing but phi here 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega raised to 1 the uh, coron frequency will be phi for this one the phase slope will be 20 it is minus 20 plus 20 based upon this one it is minus it is because divided sign minus 20 now minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 is nothing but minus 60 minus 60 now this one can be written as you have to consider only this one minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 omega whole square and this one face angle will be face angle same remains same tan inverse minus tan inverse 0 0.2 omega divided by 1 next this one 10 is there 1 plus 0 0.1 j omega raised to 1 10 for this one again minus 20 ah, whether it I have to write minus 20 or plus 20 because it lies above here therefore I have to consider positive 20 here plus 20 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 plus 20 
it is minus 40. Then you have to write plus 20 log, you have to write this part, plus 20 log root 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.1 omega whole square. Now this one, instead of minus, now it will be plus tan inverse 0 0.1 divided by 1. This is the table. First part is completed. Next part is very easy. Just you have to assemble it. Now next is find the magnitude. Step 5. Step 5. Find the magnitude. Find magnitude. Finding the magnitude. Very really important. Find the magnitude as number. Just in this way you have to do it. M is equal to this one. 20 log 10 minus 20 log omega minus 20 log 10 is 2 1 plus 0 0.5 omega whole square minus 20 log and raise to 1 plus 0, 0 0.2 omega whole square plus 20 log 1 plus 0 0.1 omega whole square. This is the magnitude. You have to add it out. This is the magnitude which is obtained now. After obtaining the magnitude, find out the omega value and magnitude value. How to find out omega and magnitude value? This is the omega, this is the magnitude. And these values are required to plot the Bolde diagram. Magnitude omega. Now for omega, now what is the value of omega? It plays a very important note. This is the Bolde diagram or semi log sheet. This is the value of omega here. Now 1 is nothing but I am considering 0 0.1 radian per second. And this one I am considering as a 1 radian per second. And this is 10, this is 100, this is 1000, this is 10,000. This part I am referring as a magnitude and this is as a phase angle. For here, I am considering 0 here, 0, minus 20, 40. This is 40 dB. Everything will be dB. And this will be, sorry, this is positive. Positive. This one is positive. At the bottom, this will be negative. Minus 20, minus 40 dB. The face angle will be 180 here. 180. It moves 30, 30. It moves 20, 20. Each box moves 20. Here, each box moves 30. If it is minus 180, and this will be minus 150. This will be minus, minus 120. This will be minus 90 and this will be minus 210 minus 240. Three table you have to refer it out. Okay. Here 180 is nothing but you have to consider 0 here. 180 is nothing but 0 for us. Zero for us. Okay. 180 is the main position for us. Now, without the graph, we can find the values of uh, uh, gain margin and face margin. That is the important part here. I am going to teach today. Okay. First, now, what is omega? Now, first I will consider the omega as 0 0.1 because I will start from 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Substitute the value of 0 0.1 here in the place of omega. Then the magnitude will be 40. Next, I will consider one value, 1. Or you can consider 0 0.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No problem. Okay. It has to cross this 0 line. You have to cross the 0 line. Next one, I will consider. It will be 17.56. Next, I will consider 5. 
it will be ah before considering the phi you can consider zero here for zero it will be 3 point 3.88 for 0 it cut 3.88 for phi this means phi, value of phi has to be substituted in the place of omega you will get these values in place of phi you will get minus 4.62 now in place of 10 because it's crossed already cross positive negative therefore few more values can, you can add it so that you can uh, draw the graph easily 1 3 I will consider last value 100 minus 59.96. Now to substitute these values in place of omega, you will obtain these values. Okay. Obtain it. We got these values. Next, we are finding for the face angle. Step 6. 6. Find for face angle. Find for face angle. Face angle, just add this part. This part you have to add it. Phi is equal to 0 minus 90 minus tan inverse 0 0.5 omega by 1 minus tan inverse 0 0.2 omega by 1 plus tan inverse 0 0.1 divided by 1. This is the value of phi. Similarly, draw the table draw the table by varying the omega and face angle it has to cross 180 line okay 180 line if substitute the value of 0 0.1 if you substitute the value of 0 0.1 why i have taken 0 0.1 because i have considered this first one as a 0 0.1 therefore i have considered 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0. Point. This up to 10. Next, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 10. Next, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So on. Okay, 0 0.1 I am considering. For 0 0.1, if you substitute omega value for 0 0.1, you will get minus 93.43. Next, you will obtain 0 0.5 value. 0 0.5 value, it will be minus 0 0.7, uh, minus 107. Next, 1, it get minus 122.6. Next, I will go for 5 fifth, 5, have substitute value of 5, minus 176.63. Then, I will go for... Um, 180 because I know the it has to cross 180 as consider 180 here minus 180 the value will for this one 180 will be 5.77 because this one is 0 for us next minus 185 for 8 omega 8 I have considered vice versa okay first I have considered I will substitute 5 180 in here and I will find the omega in this case in this case okay first I will substitute 180 here and make it as a x in the calculator and then I will find value of 180 here similarly I have done the value for this one also if you substitute omega okay here no problem but here you have to do in this way first you have to consider 180 here and in the calculator you have to treat the omega as a x, then we will obtain this value. This, play, this value plays an important role for us. Next, 8. 8 is nothing but substitute the value of omega 8. You will obtain this value 8.29. Next, 10. 187.66. For and so on. You can increase it. So, so <clears throat> this is the magnitude magnitude but but you can find out directly what is the value of pm and gm how to know the value of uh, pm and gm what is the value of this one this is nothing but zero is nothing but it is crossing this line this line zero line is crossing 
it was this point we are calling as GCM that is gain crossover frequency this is a gain crossover frequency now this value particularly this value we are considering as a phase crossover frequency because at this point this line going to cut because 180 we are considering as 0 here at this point at what point 5.77 omega the phase crossover frequency cuts phase crossover frequency now we can find out the value of gm what is the value of gm and what is the value of pm how to find out the gm and pm very easy very easy because at the 180 5.77 we got it substitute this 5.77 here you will get gm and whatever the value you have got it this value substitute here you will get pm now how listen here now what now substitute 5.77 in place of omega in place of omega it will be in place of omega 5.7 m is equal to 20 log 10 10 minus 20 log omega minus 20 log uh, in place of omega you have to substitute as 5.77 20 root 1 plus 0 0.5 into 5.77 whole square minus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.2 into 5.77 whole square plus 20 log 10 root 1 plus 0 0.1 into 5.77 whole square the value for this will be obtained as the value for this one is obtained as around 7.7.7 7 7 maybe 7.73 20 log 20 log 10 plus 20 log 20 log 5.77 minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.5 into 5.77 whole square root minus 20 log root 1 plus 0 point 0 point 2 into 5.777 whole square plus 20 log root 1 plus 0 0.1 into 5.77 whole square for this one the answer will be minus 7.33 so my minus 7.34 minus 7.34 if it is bottom you have to consider minus of minus then this will be 7.34 approximately 8 db approximately 8 db now whatever gm you got cross line substitute here in this one you will get I am going to substitute here. This is for GM value. This is for GM value. Without the graph, we are obtaining here. Now, if you substitute 3.88 here, then what happens? You will get PM value. Phi is equal to minus 90 minus tan inverse 0 0.5 into 3.88 minus tan inverse 0 0.2 into 3.88 plus tan inverse 0 0.1 sorry I have missed omega here omega into 3.88 then what happened minus 90 minus 
tan inverse 0 0.5 into 3.88 minus tan inverse 0 0.2 into 3.88 plus tan inverse 0 0.1 into 3.88 the answer for this one is the answer for this one is 169 minus 169.35 we are considering 180 as a 0 for us therefore you have to write as minus 180.35 minus 180 point no you have to consider minus of minus minus 180.180 sorry minus 180 the answer will be in this way you have to write you got the obtained as a minus 169.35 minus of minus you have to write 180.35 every time you have to write in this way for answer will be 10.64 10.64 10.64 this is the without the graph you can obtain the values in the graphical the values may be vary it may obtain the 10 or it may be obtained 16 because the graphical method we are not finding exact values okay in this way without the graph we can obtain the values of uh, this is pm face margin and this is gm gain margin okay now with the help of graph how it we are going to find out. Okay, we are going to find out. Now this is the graph. This is the graph I am going to plot. Now first is for 0 omega 1, 40. This is 40 for omega 1. Ha. Each division is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 means 15. Uh, 4. 4, 8, 16. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 4 is there. Now you can cut 14 divided by 5, 6 divided by 4. 17.56 divided by 4 is nothing but 3.34 line. That means 4.3 line. At what? 1. This is the 1. 1, 4 means 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 means around 4 point something line. Here it obtained value. Next is about 0. 0 means 8.388. 8.388 approximately here. Oh, sorry. This is not 8.3381. This is 2. This is 3. 388 means approximately here. It opted here. Okay. It opted here. 0 value. Because this is a graphical method, some errors are occurs. Next is about 5. 4.66 4.66 means just write minus 4.62 divided by 4 you can do it it is 1.15 at what 5 5 here 1 means 1 division I am considering here around here 1 next is 18 we have to do it minus 18.13 divided by 4 4.53 for 18. 18 means this is 18, 18. This is 10. Oh, 18 is here. 18. 10 means 4, 4 line. 8, 8 line. For 10, 8. Okay, this one is 4 line. 1, 2, 3, 4th line. It lies here. It lies here. For 10. For 100, for 100, what is the line? 59, 59 point. 96 divided by 4 that means 14th line 14th line you will get 400 14th line not required for us because I have to go for 60 here 50 not required for us okay this is enough for us or you can further you can write it out no problem okay now draw the line this is simple way and so on and so on 
next i will go for face angle for face angle 180 150 120 90 it moves 30 30 30 it moves 4 4 4 4 it moves 30 30 30 that means each box will be 30 30 30 here each box will be 20 20 but in the each box there is a small box is nothing but 4 4 4 4 4 here number of box are nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 5 is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 30 divided by 5 30 divided by 5 is nothing but 6 oh sorry 30 divided by 5 6 you have to move 6 6 6 6 12 18 uh, 24 30 you have to move in this way you have to move it okay now first point is 0 0.1 93 93 93 93.43 you have to do in this way okay now see it properly minus 93.43 plus 180 you have to write because we are taking as a 180 as a reference here 0 180 divided by 6 you have to do it it will be 14.29 the 14th line you have to do it this is uh, 5 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th point. 14th point 4 is nothing but here. First line. Next is at uh, 4, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. This is the 0 0.5. 107. Minus 107 plus 180 divided by 6. You can do it. You will get the number 12.16. 12.16. This line. 12.16. This is 5. This is 10, 10, 11, 12, 12 point something, 10, this, uh, this is 11, 12, 12 point something is here. Okay, next is about to 1, minus 122.16 plus 180 divided by 6, 9.64. 9.64 for 1, 9.64, this is 5, 10, 5 means 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 point something is here, next is about 176 point, 176.63 divided, sorry, plus 180, divided by 6 0 0.56 0 0.56 for 5 this is 5 0 0.56 0 0.56 means approximately 1 year One eighty five point seven seven. approximately here 8 for 8 minus 180 85.29 plus 180 divided by 6 it will be 0 0.88 approximately 8 for 8 this is for 8 that's enough that's enough you can draw in this way Yes, that's it. This point we call as a PM point. Uh, sorry, uh, this point we call as a PFC, phase crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency. Phase crossover frequency. This we call as a GM. Uh, G sorry GCM gain crossover frequency gain crossover frequency frequency now we have to find out the PM now GM cuts here draw a line from that part PM cuts here Draw a line from here. This part we are referred as PM, and this part we are referring as a GM. Now GM will be, it cuts here. That means this is four, this is eight. Four plus four, eight, eight dB. 
negative. You have to take negative of negative here. It is nothing but 8 dB. If it is upward, you have to take positive. If it is downward, you have to take negative. Now here PM will be, this is 6, 6, approximately, this is 6, 12, it will be 14 here, 14 dB. 14 dB, sorry, not dB, 14 radian per second. 14 dB, or you can say this one is radian per second, you can write it. This is nothing but dB. If the both the values falls below, G, below 0 degree and above this one, the system is called as a stable. The system is stable. Stable. If PM falls above 180 and GM falls below 0, the system is stable. If any vice versa occur, the systems are unstable. Now, write the GM value. GM is nothing but 8 dB. PM is nothing but 14 degree. Next, PCF is nothing but what is the value? PCF. What the value we got it? PCF 5.77. 5.77. Next is GM. GCM is nothing but GCM value we got it 3.88. 3.88. This is radian per second. This is D. System is stable. In this way, you have to solve the problems. For the body plot, or you can solve the problem directly. I have solved it directly. Now, reason it. I have solved directly. What are the value you get of GM? I have substituted here. I got the values of PM. I got the value of PM, and the whatever value of zero, I have substituted here in order to get the GM value. I am Sadhu Jayantkar. Thank you very much.